Hello YouTube Battle Buddies, my name is Cosmarie and some of you know me as Lark Girl. Today, we're going to talk about my experience at Armistice Arcane. Armistice Arcane is a blockbuster LARP that takes place in New Orleans. It is a destination LARP that you get to go and enjoy the beautiful atmosphere and the immersive environment of the area that you're going to be LARPing in. The setting of the LARP took place in the late 1800s and had a Victorian Edwardian feel to it. My character, as many of you know, was Rose Marie. Rose Marie was a governess at one point in her life. It was her career, it was her job, it was everything she had aspired to be. But that went south when her charge was killed by a monster. She swore to take revenge and clear her name by siding with the Sentinels, becoming one of them, and hunting the creature in which hurt her charge. Uh, she was able to do that and she was successful to clear her name. She has this reputation amongst the magical creatures as being an excellent hunter and someone to fear. The sentinels are feared by the magic users and the creatures of the night. Uh, he bring him to his ears to be judged fairly. He, but he himself will be saying low that is so vulnerable, that is so resigned. It's just, it's just like stomping on a bug while they're down. It's, it seems like a he crossed. Just I understand that. I understand. You know. don't, it's not that we want empathy. I feel sorry for a number of monsters. This is not going to look good. I it is justice. We will keep talking in this circle over and over and over again. So, the way we are doing today, we are giving him to them. He goes back with them, and if they think that he can be rehabilitated, they will try. We watch, and then we take care of it. When he fails. Exactly. If, if, if he can be rehabilitated, great, wonderful. I don't think he can. I don't personally wish to wait for that chance. <laughs> come on, come on, gang, everyone. Ready? Come on, we're all, we're all united. All right, ready? On three, yes. um, top, set. All right, ready? One, two, three, set. I know why they call you the governess now. The Sentinels are not the only other factions that exist at Armistice Arcane. There are so many different factions and guilds and groups at Armistice Arcane that it was really fun to engage with each and every one of them. If you've never experienced a LARP before where your character was casted, Armistice Arcane had to have done the best job that I've experienced so far. They ask a series of questions of what you're interested in playing. You fill out this player survey and they make a character or cast a character based on what your wants and needs are for the experience. That meant that they wrote pages of character details for myself and other players. When I arrived in New Orleans, I was really excited. You know, we had a, a beautiful room and just took in everything I possibly could.
one of the things that you had to do was check in so that you could get your character document and your goodie bag. That's right, a goodie bag. So the organizers of Armistice Arcane, they gave out some snacks and um, a map of New Orleans and some local pralines and it was really cool. They, they really cared about us as players and, and they wanted us to know and they gave us this cute little goodie bag. Um, we also got our faction badges which were um, on our characters to show which factions we were a part of. So it kind of helps people uh, know how to role play with different uh, groups. Everybody knows that this isn't just who you know and who can pull favors for you or get you out of trouble like it always was before in a system that didn't work. Good. What I am asking you is yes, we will give you your man back, we will take you back, you will consider your consequences. And I will not sneak into your circus, but I'm asking you to come in and monitor this situation because that changes our ongoing agreement. I got settled into the room, did my makeup, and I was ready to go. We got into character, we had some character workshops, we had an introduction to the LARP. Our next big thing is we believe in play to lose, which is kind of what I've been talking about, that sometimes you want you want to lose. It's, it's more dramatic, it's more fun, it allows you to let go. Embrace all the emotions. Embrace the love, embrace the lust, embrace the anger, the sorrow, embrace all of that and, and play it all. Get involved. This is a big thing. Don't sit in a corner and say, well, my character wouldn't do that. Find a reason. You know, you may be a, a, an aristocrat who sits around and would never, you know, run out chasing after a ghost that has, you know, fled through the room. But find a reason. Oh, well, my character is an aristocrat, but you know what? He also always wants to get the scoop before anyone else. So much stuff happened at this LARP, I don't know how to tell you about it all at once, but I'm going to do my best. So let's let's t try and, and knock out some of those bullet points. The first night was really hard for me. Uh, I was playing a character who people didn't like, who people feared. A character that people wanted to be aggressive towards because of the things that she may have done to family members or friends. It was really tough. The role play that people were offering me was really hard to digest because I felt like I was a good guy. My character protects humans. She kills things that hurt other people and it was really hard to deal with all of this aggression. But the next day I was able to redeem myself by showing how much I cared. So take this piece of paper and what you're going to do is you're going to uh, dip the ink and then you're going to sign your name in the middle. Once you've done signing your name, you're going to fold the piece of paper in half. And run your hands across. It seems like a ritual. It's not. It's a way to identify yourself once you've passed. So this is what I'm looking like. This is what they say, but it's hard to picture you looking like this. And basically, it's, it's a clue to perhaps something that you might feel, something that you might portray when you are a ghost. It's not what you look like, but it might be something that you might put out there to tell somebody. It's not like a wolf. With this one, I, I thought it looked like two budding flowers, um, blooming flowers. Well, that's the difference between how you see you and how I see you. Exactly. I, um, I wanted to invite anybody to do it as well. Um, if you want to grab uh, a piece of paper, it's quite easy. All you have to do is write your name. I'm glad that you're here with us. We're doing, um, we're just doing a ghost signature. There's a map. And then run your hands across it, however you can. Yes. Our names change over time. Well, if you well. give me one moment, I'm doing my ghost signature, and then I would look. And that's what she would look like. It's, it's interesting because it's quite tribal. I like this. And what do you see when you see I see a blurred up version of it. Oh, I do, I do see the butterfly. Um, oh! And cute and cheeks. Look at the cute little nose. Yeah. May I draw it yours? Yes, you may. You may. You may draw it here. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Well, it that would make sense. You are a rose after all, so stick with the red. <laughs> rose! Oh, rose! Hey, are you okay? Rose! I'm separating. Can you sit there? What is going on? What is? Um. Well, the lighter's kind of off to the side. There. It smells like burnt doctor. Frank. What she what is she used to have been poisoned? By what? I do not know. We're having I mean, a taste look at it right now. Her yeah. teacup. Where is her teacup? It's, it's in my the, the right teacup's now. right here. All right. The so bourbon's right here. Remain talking. Put bourbon yeah. away. Don't Who's know talking to me? Is it God? Take care of her. Take care of her. She's a performer, but now she looks like the Virgin Mary. Well, I think said that I can have a conference. gonna taste better. Mm. Should be good. Simple enough, it doesn't need magic words. Look after me, God. Poison. <laughs> that is usually the case with medicine. Oh, thank you. Feel any better? Well, the burning in my stomach seems to stop. That's good. That's good. Thank you. I might need your assistance later. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but uh, thank you. Thank you again. Okay, you're most welcome. I found out that that one character particularly was absolutely terrified of Rose. And Rose wanted to do her very best to, to show her she had no reason to be scared. And that character was Jenny. This whole time I've been sneaking around trying to somehow let almost every other faction but you guys know and at this point I think I could need all the help I could get because I'm running out of time a little bit. So I don't really know what I am. I just know it's bad. From Rose's perspective, Jenny had been like any other human girl. Jenny was there at the armistice and Rose had no idea why. There was all of these things, like all of these people wanted to protect Jenny and keep Jenny close, but Rose had no idea, which meant something was going on there. So she wanted to befriend Jenny so that she could tell her what was happening and possibly Rose could help. Interrupting a magical right. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Could somebody shut that man up so we can start? Everyone, please open yourselves and channel your power through the person to your left and to your right. There should be a ring of protective energy surrounding us. Your energy that consumes and renews, let us pass. Earth, the strength and power of the natural world. Hear our pleas, let us pass. 
ere the winds that blow let us pass. We step through, crossing the veil, past the guardians of the elements. So the fairies come forth. Alright, now she's leaving. That's great. Right. <laughs> no. You no. fucking idiots! Shit! Where's that? Um, well, the Sentinels may look to us We must go. off is that we have all signed a peace treaty for the time being and we will for one year cease fire continuously and there's all these different rules and, and stuff like that. You never know who might double cross someone else, who might approach someone else's land, who might be murdered during the time, but I'm looking forward to the next one and hopefully we'll see what happens. I'm not voting. I'm apologizing. Ladies and gentlemen, Arcanus, we the undersigned agree for a period of one year and one day to abide by the following understandings. No party of any signed organization may use lethal force against any other without provocation analogous to the mundane concept of self-defense. The second, no member of any signed organization may withhold information from any other signing party on the topic of the others nor may they refuse support to anyone who requests it when dealing with aforementioned others. No member of any organization, third point, no member of any organization will trespass on the resources or land of another without prior notification. No member of any organization will take magical action on the resources or land of another without prior approval. Perfect. Okay. Can we To conclude this video, I want to say to the Armistice Arcane staff, thank you so much for the beautiful experience and I am looking forward to LARPing with all of you as much as possible and seeing you guys back at Armistice Arcane next year. The event was so absolutely magical and amazing. That's all I have for you today. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. That was a little aggressive. Leave your comments below and I'll see you next time on the battlefield.